Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Argentina, where, as you guys can see, we are doing a lot right now. Mostly, well, mostly just doing economic and uh, budget kind of stuff. I'm slowly increasing my, um, you know, military spending and all that kind of jazz, slowly but surely over time. I mean, right now we can support 80% of our land, 80% of our militaristic spending with full taxes, which is awesome. That means we definitely, our economy is definitely becoming a force to be reckoned with. And we are definitely having more and more people joining the world, which is, you know, quite frankly, really awesome. More and more, Neptune has been discovered by the two Sicilies. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Anyways, we also, eventually I am going to have to go back to looking at all my bureaucrats and start increasing them again to keep our bonuses good. Especially our clergymen. Our clergymen are just increasing at a rapid rate. But for the most part, rate. Rate. Yeah, that, that's a really weird word right there. Rate. Um, but for the most part, we're doing pretty good. I mean, we've kept to about 15% of what we need. The world class of the world. Yay. 15. 15th place. We haven't quite entered like a good. Ooh, yes. Okay. Another reform, everyone. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Not going to do that. Uh, we have a open, yes, I would, I'd love actually, you know, open immigration policy, yes. We want as many immigrants to come to our country as possible. Rebels are now in my country, probably because I didn't pass the one they probably wanted, which was weighted wealth. I mean, the reason why I'm not passing weighted wealth is because I want them to, I want my, you know, people to really petition for this. I'll pass it, but I need to first, like... I need to first get enough people wanting me to pass it before I can start passing it. You know what I mean, people? It's kind of like that, you know, thing a thing. But if you need something to happen, you don't necessarily go to it immediately. You just, you just let it kind of go back to you. You see, you see, guys, what I'm saying? Or am I making no sense at all? This is just kind of like, what is he saying? I don't know. Okay, but anyways. What we're going to do is definitely endorse full naturalization of all immigrants. I want to make sure that we are... If, if you want to come to my country, you are allowed to come into my country. I do not want... I do not want people to be deterred by my, like, immigration policies, which should be nothing. I want people to be like, hey, you know what? Argentina is a good place to move to. It has good so-and-so. It has so-and-so good. I mean, this is about to pass 100k, which I'm really about... I'm really happy of. And total population. The Irish make up war. What the heck? The Irish are coming to my country in droves. Wow. I, you know, I never thought. Okay, and now since, now since I have enough m people want even more, um, I'm going to get weighted wealth so that people are a little bit more happy with my country, and people are really enthusiastic about moving here. Yeah, you see, seven. It was at six point two six because of. Because of stuff. Oh wow, we're jumping up really high in terms of how much people want to move to my country, which is good. People should want to move to my country. It's awesome. But we want to keep we want to keep passing me forwards. Oh my goodness, 10k. Okay, okay. I gotta see how good I want to see how good I am comparatively to the United States right now. Let's see. I get about 6,458 immigrants a day. I beat the United States. Oh yeah. I am a better immigrant, at least in 1846, I have a better immigration policy than the United States. What up? America just got beaten by South America. Yeah. Go South America. <laughs> oh man. Even to, even to me, I kind of find the concept of, this is just kind of a side note to my own country, but it, it's a self-criticism, so. My own, my own country refers to itself as America, which is... You know, fine and dandy until you start thinking about the term America. And America is not actually, is a part of our name. We're the United States of America. But we're not all of America. We're only like this part of America. I mean, you have so much more of America. There's Canadian America. You have Mexico America. You have, you know, Honduras America, Colombia America, you know, Brazil America. All these different types of America. But yet we only think of everyone else and everyone else and ourselves only think of America as this. Which is, I think, just one of the stupidest things ever. Holy shoot, we just had a major economic crash. Something just happened. Stipends, that's what's happening. We're, we're paying too many stipends to our to our to our economies. And 
As much as I love Woka's move again, I can't pay that much to them. Let's see, 45. Okay, um, stop supporting everything. I can't, I can't support the economies of these things. But the good thing about this is that if more people move in, what that generally does is that that usually makes it much easier for, um, well, it usually makes it better for everyone because then more, uh, more things happen and that more factories can be built and just a lot more, you know, good things happen. I mean, let's see. My second biggest region right now, which is El Rios, 103 population. I like that. I'm going to remove the natural focus of there because it looks like it's stable. It has a pretty good population all by itself. I need to start moving it to uh, Ju Ju Jui. I think that's how you pronounce it. I need to start attracting more people over here now. Actually, let's educate the people here before I leave. Yeah, let's educate. We must educate all all the new people that moved into that place. Actually, let me see. How much of... Uh, oh my goodness, this is the majority of where my Irish people are. Wait, really? No, actually, my Irish are just all spread out everywhere. 50% of my population is Irish. You know, if there's anything I'm going to take away from this Argentinian game, it's probably the fact I had an insane amount of Irish people move to my country. I, I think that is probably going to be the biggest, you know, thing about this game. Is that, just that simple. Oh, wow, this collapsed really quick. Okay, Burrios, a cement factory. Well, now that there's actually some workers in here, which is what I wanted to do, I wanted to see what does Burrios produce. Let's see, it's mostly this region right here. So Burrios, it has some grain, it has some timber. It would really be good for a can factory, actually, but hmm, let's see. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure we can make a cement factory and it'd be fine. Like, I'm pretty sure cement factory would be good. Um, another thing we also should start encouraging is more capitalists. Because we literally only have seven capitalists in our country. And if we can start having the, uh... Okay, we actually do need our gunpowder factory. A regular clothes factory we can invest in because I do need something of clothes in our country. Uh, yes, yeah, since we don't have those two resources there, I knew that was going to fail. But I just needed it there so I could... Oh, we don't have coal here either, so this is going to fail too. Oh, man. Okay, that makes me kind of sad. Okay, I do need to I do need to stifle that that factory though, because I actually do need it. Okay, let us. Yes, we need more favored universal waiting. Yes, everyone keep coming to my land and keep giving me great ideas for how to run my government. That's what I need. That's what I need in my great Argentinian empire. Okay, and let's see. Glass. <laughs> I'm debating if I should close this factory. I think I will. Um. We're building another factory here in La, La Pampa. I think actually La Pampa should be the next... Yeah, we should probably encourage more people to immigrate to La Pampa. Because that's just... We just don't have enough people there yet. And let's see. How many people are being educated by the clergy? We need 2 point... We need 2.00% of the population there to be educated. So that we can start gaining more and more bonuses. Because right now our bonuses went away. Because right now we don't have the maximum, you know, greatest... Yay! Tax reform! That makes our money go up! Yay! I'm gonna wait until the uh, little bar is about good. Okay, it's about good. Okay. Four, five. And let's see. Education. I don't know why administration efficiency went down. So 80%, 81, 85. It doesn't, it doesn't increase that to 100. Let's just, let's just bite the bullet, increase that to 100, and have full administration efficiency all around our entire empire. That way, we're just increasing everywhere in our Argentinian empire. Okay? Because we also need that. We also need that extra boost to our economy. And let's see. Paraguay is basically undefended right now. That's it's looking very promising. You guys are still in this war. The Andy the the Andres Republic, you guys are still in this war against South Peru. I I would have assumed by now you would either give up or you would be like, yeah, this is way too costly. Why are we still in this? Yep, as I thought, the Borrios thing did not quite work out. A cigarette factory. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I don't believe I could produce tobacco. I just... Oh, my goodness. This is... Oh, my goodness. I have to fail this factory. It's just way too costly. 
Okay, but this factory, I believe this factory actually might succeed by itself. Yeah, this factory has a chance to succeed by itself. I'm going to keep this factory around because I need it to keep around. Um, yeah, uh, let's try this. Let's try this factory just to see if it's going to be any good. And if it is, then we'll use it. If not, then we won't. I don't want to keep building up, like, my economy and having it collapse every single second. Okay, and let's see, we have all that done with, we have all this side done with, now we're going to go down ideological thought, unless market structure just got unlocked. Get market structure, because we need to keep educating our people. The 2% bonus is really, really nice. Okay, and I don't need to do any more craftsmen, craftsmen, uh, help, we just need to encourage our clergymen again. Because that's what we need to do, we need to encourage our clergymen. Okay, and look at this. A lot of places now are really starting to grow. I'm glad I immigrated. I'm glad I had enough immigrants to attract to attract 109k right there. Because that makes that region way more powerful. And that's what we kind of need in our regions. is way more powerful regions. So we can start competing with other nations. And Paraguay, when we actually get around to declaring war on Paraguay to completely annex them, they're going to be so weak. <laughs> it's going to be a cinch. Okay, just a sit. Okay, market structure we are researching right now. And our, our education, we can actually go up in education a little bit, which is good. 80% of our people are educated. That's giving us a nice, good boost. Not a great boost, but good boost. And 2.1% of these two regions are now basically clergy, clergy masters. I don't quite know the term. They're just really good at clergy stuff. And that's really good because that means that these two regions are now giving us our extra boost. But I'm pretty sure what's happening is that all the other regions in my uh, empire have basically deteriorated to the point where they don't have any more, like, clergymen. Like, seriously, I guarantee if I look at the stats, I don't have that many clergy. Let's see. How many clergy do I have? 12,000. I have a decent amount of clergy. Just have a wet, a ton more farmers than anything. Which kind of annoys me, actually. Let's see. We do have to get that bonus. I do believe, though, we're not going to be able to accomplish it by just taxing out our first two regions. Well, we might be able to. We might be able to if I just keep increasing this and just hoping it does stuff. Hey, population growth! That's really good, actually, because then that means that we're not only increasing by ourselves, but we're increasing by a lot of other stuff, which is good. Also, I'm going to build this factory just because I need to start inspiring workers in that region. And yes, we finally found a factory that works over here. So this factory will definitely work in Argentina and Mato Grosso. That's good. Now, let's see, Burl Rios is about to produce its first tobacco place. Uh, this is about to produce its first glass place. This is about to, this is already producing its first, uh, factory, which is good. It already has a, somewhat of a good producer, which is good. A military coup de gras. Oh, man, you guys. Are and everyone, the Andres Republic has been demolished and welcome back Peru, Bolivia. Okay, and right now we can pass another reform and before I pow pass wealth, which is the one they want me to do. Um, what I want to do is, let's see, political awareness, immigration attraction, immigration attraction 5%, uh, let's see, 5%, I could do two years of that, but I don't want to, immigration attraction 5%, so basically all these are about 5%, except for that, that's about 15%, um, yeah, you know, we could do wealth, let's get wealth, let's get more immigrants in our country, seriously, because now we're starting to decrease, which makes me mad. Because that means that most likely America is now taking the mantle back of being the most immigrational country ever. Which annoys me, actually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Immigration, immigration, United States, 7,000. Me, 3,000. Yeah. Mexico, 700. That's actually pretty good, Mexico. And the rest of the world, not having the greatest of luck right now. <laughs> not having the greatest of luck. So, most people are coming from, like, England, which is understandable actually now thinking about it, but still it's like we have an Irish population man an Irish population I swear the Irish could actually become an accepted culture if we keep this up if we keep this up oh man okay something's costing us way too much let's see we have uh, 1.86 taxes tariffs 
We may just have to decrease our land and thing a little bit, military spending, because the economy is now starting to adjust because of prices. Probably because we had just like a little market recession crisis happen. Ah, oh, man, dang it. Okay. All right. I think I feel confident enough to finally go in and finally go and uh, annex some of these regions. So, let's see. Peru, Bolivia. We could, let me think about this. Peru, Bolivia has a total population of 274k. Um, let's see, is there any kind of resource we could steal from them just immediately? Well, this actually is a really nice resource if we get this iron deposit. We could really become a great, good power if we get that iron deposit. We also have an iron deposit right there too, but just thinking ahead here. There's a sulfide deposit right there, which is good. I didn't even realize we had a sulfide deposit. So, and it's 25% Irish. Uh, well, we would be, let's see, we would be competing against our good friends at Chile who want the same land we want. So we basically have to go to war with Chile to get it. By the way, would you guys like to form an alliance? Thank you! Oh, thank goodness. Wait, did I just have a core on them? I'd be really mad if I just had a core on them. Yay! Chile's now my ally. Okay. Eh, you know what? I really don't... Let's see. 188k. Or going to war for two regions over here. Santa Cruz, the two regions that are really populous over here in Peru, Bolivia would be, because I'm basically going to war against these guys' for population, and maybe some t strategic resources. Um, let's see, the regions would be La Plaza, and then the main regions La Plaza. So yeah, it's still just the capital, still. I'd mainly be able to take this export over here, which I have a lot of. Um, yeah, it's still, I think it just still makes the best of sense just to downright annex these guys. I should, if I'm correctly, if I'm correctly estimating this, even if I get the full amount, I should be able to survive the infamy hit. I should. That's, that's, if everything goes according to plan. Wow, this game really hates me. <laughs> this game really hates me. So, yeah, took the full infamy hit, and probably gonna have to suffer for that for a little bit, but... You know, I can't really do much about that. Education efficiency has now gone up a little bit. Now I'm going to get ideological thought because that's... If I go down the ideological tree, there's a lot of events. Especially for the new events that have... That have, like, ideological thought as a very important technology. So we're going to go down that. Um, apparently I'm going to have to deal with a little bit of Burgundy. And they're coming for us! I know those no good penguins. They're coming for us with their... With their guns and their cannons and their horses. They're coming for us, everyone. They're coming for us. Yeah. Go, good prospector. Okay, and it seems like as we get more and more higher into the regions, it seems like we're decreasing in terms of power, which kind of does stink. All right. Now that we have, um, you know, a good amount of stuff, what I need to start doing is start realizing where a good amount of our immigration people can go. Because I need to start encouraging immigration again. Let's see. Uh, Pompa definitely needs more people. Uh, Can Cantameria probably needs more people. Yes, it does. Yes, I need more people to start working my factories. Okay, now that we got our bonus back to uh, education. I mean, yes, to education, that is the right words. I'm fine with anything else they do. And then Chile, you guys can go rip apart uh, Peru, Bolivia. I really don't care. I'm not impartial to you guys doing that. I could actually release Peru, Bolivia for about five extra prestige. Hmm, that's good to know. They're coming for us, everyone! Those no good things, they're coming for us! Oh my goodness, I love the Prospector. No, we need 20% more, more moralism! More moralism! More! Second day power gives us like negative 0.5 to our infamy. Wow, I did not notice that. That would have been really helpful a couple minutes ago. Negative 2% to input. Yeah, our factories aren't being put together well. Now we're starting to really, we're having a crumble economy because of expenses. I'm going to have to put off that, put off this. Um, keep the gun. The fabric will probably, this is probably going to crash my economy. But we'll see. We'll see if this will be able to survive. No. No. It's not meant to be. Oh my goodness. Build a gunpowder factory and arrow wheels. Hmm. Would that work? An arrow wheels. Yeah, it could work. Let's see. 
We could try it. Oh, dang it. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.